debate on the seriousness of the federal government at winning war against corruption, considering the numbers of anti-corruption cases government legal teams lost in recent times. But speaking to journalists after a three-hour closed-door Federal Executive Council meeting, the Attorney General believes that stringent application of anti-corruption measures and sanction against offenders as enshrined in the new policy will give additional bite to the administration's anti-corruption war. He said the new national anti-corruption strategy, which was formulated through open government partnership, was approved to support government's anti-corruption war. Policy relating to VVN, single treasury account, policies relating to whistleblowing, policies relating to open government partnership and associated policies have all proven very effective in establishing transparency and accountability and blockage. From offenses against the application of the bank verification number, BVN, to Treasury's single account, the new policy will ensure that government prosecutors to get more details to try offenders and make anti-graft war more efficient. Council also approved 242 million Naira contract for the completion of engineering works on the Ring Road, number four, in the Federal Capital Territory. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mohamed Dubelo, said the road when completed will connect Kubua Expressway and Airport Road to the Southern Expressway in the Federal Capital Territory. The contract for the final engineering design for the Cabo District of the city. And of course, that also is meant to provide uh, the basis for us to continue with the engineering infrastructure of that district. The four contracts awarded by the council, according to the minister, are for the enhancement of infrastructure and to make FCT meet its befitting status.